as well. Now, I received a direct message uh, last night from Alan Thomas. Alan is um, he's a, 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 a story and proud dad hubby. Let's see. He, he's part state of Louisville.com is uh, what he writes for. This is what he sent to me the question. How's it going? I write for a sports and leisure website in Louisville. There's a little chatter about Scott Drew having interest. Scott Drew having interest in Louisville. Curious if you have heard a peep about it. Thanks so much for your time. Now, you'll see part of my response at the bottom, but the full response is something that I just sent Armstrong. Ah, that's terrible. Now, just go ahead and take that down, Armstrong. I can't read that. I, I wish it was the opposite colors. What I did say was this, and we can discuss this and on the uh, chat room, Paul, Craig, and phone calls, if you'd like, at 254-339-1122. I've heard the chatter, but Baylor fans are those of us who cover them are used to the chatter, and I would be stunned if there was anything to Scott Drew in Louisville. I know Louisville is a tradition-rich men's basketball program. Baylor is rolling along, and they're about to build a brand-new arena or what is called a pavilion, and Coach Drew has been waiting for this to happen, and Baylor pays him very well, most and more than most people realize. Uh, Dave Aranda, rumored to be the top choice in a handful of the Blue Bloods. At the end of last season, early offseason, fans were concerned because of turnovers at head coach in football. But Aranda never blinked, not once, and wasn't leaving for any of the rumored destinations. So Baylor fans are used to Scott Drew, or mainly the football coaches, Matt Rule, of course, even when Art Browse yeah. was there. But this is, this is also, and this is no offense to this guy, but this is Louisville fans and Louisville people saying, okay, we are a tradition which program. Where's a program that's really good now that we could go pluck somebody from? Oh, Baylor. Well, they don't really know anything about Baylor. And so they just assume that somebody would come running to Louisville. Scott Drew could have come running to a lot of programs when things were a lot worse for him than they are right now. Look, this is a guy who spent near 20 years in the shadow of the women's program. And you tell me what other school has to do that? No, nowhere. Not nowhere. even UConn. Not even UConn. Not Stanford. Not Tennessee. Not no Notre Dame. No one. No. That has to spend the, the shadow of uh, of the program, and it wasn't athletic department wise. It was just there was a coach there who who cast a very large shadow because she wanted to, and and, and earned a lot of it. But I he's not going to do. He's not going to leave now that he is you know the top dog coach wise in the university, even above technically or equal with football right now because the football guy's new and he's just had one good season and while everybody loves him it's still you're the top dog coming off a national championship in one of the two uh you know cash earning sports the other thing is you're not going to beg for an arena to be full most of the time finally get one built to your specifications and then leave it's just not him and that's not even getting into his own personal character if you look at his history look his dad was at valpo forever scott's been at baylor now forever uh they're not a family who's gonna of their own volition gonna hop around job to job you think homer could have left a couple of different times the basketball world is like that no i I would I would be flabbergasted beyond belief if he built if he he got a stadium that's going to be built to his and Nikki Collins desires pretty much and not go walk in the door. Yeah, I saw that chatter uh, as well on social media the other day. It came from a Louisville fan who I guess does maybe some media stuff. I couldn't quite tell uh, from the profile, but uh, that's where it originated. Uh, and you know, if it basically said that Scott Drew would listen. Um, well, I'm, everybody would listen, uh, you know, a agents listen. And so, yeah, I'm sure Scott Drew's agent might listen to what somebody has to say, uh, but without any, uh, shred of evidence either way, uh, it just doesn't make any sense. It just doesn't make any sense. Louisville won a national title in 2013. Uh, they've, they've got more national titles overall than Baylor does, but Baylor just won it last year. Mm -hmm. They've got a new arena coming. He's putting guys into the pros on a level that they've never had before. He's recruiting on a level they never had before. Money isn't an issue. He gets along with the women's basketball coach. Um, I mean, like, I could go on and on and on for reasons why it makes absolutely zero sense for him to go to Louisville. The only thing... The only thing that I feel like any opposing team could come in and just be like, here, here's where we're better, is like consistently packed crowds. You know, like a Texas Tech atmosphere or a Cameron Indoor atmosphere or something along those lines. I think that ultimately that's what he would love to have in Waco. I think on Saturday you saw that it can be that. Um, and other times you've seen that as well. But like that would not be a reason either 
to solely uh, go to Louisville. So I, I don't know what Louisville would offer that would be enticing enough for him to want to even seriously debate it. Um, so yeah, I'm not I'm not putting a lot of stock into that. When people say people will listen, yeah, I'm sure an agent will listen to what a, another place has to say because if you're going to all of a sudden pony up and go, we'll give him a hundred million dollars over four, well, I'm going to listen to that, of course. Uh, but outside of that, I, it just doesn't make any sense on any single level. Uh, things are going way too well right now to disrupt that, to start over and take over a program that's not Louisville 2013, but is Louisville 2021 or 2022, and is is not in the best of shape right now. I, I don't think he be scared of that job but why would you go and take a you know a rebuild makeover type of job when you've got everything you've ever put your heart blood sweat and tears into it, it, finally occurring right in front of you that makes no sense that he would listen no one knows yeah. that uh it also mentions just like with a lot of the dave aranda scuttle that some took more seriously than others and i tried to explain that but i, I get it i understand why there's this concern you know what just because someone targets your head coach doesn't mean that coach is interested. No, How I mean, many times did we hear that Dave Aranda was the number one target or candidate at USC or LSU or whoever else? Constantly. And that was their opinion, yeah. their target, their list, their wish list. You got to remember, though, too, I, I do think there are a lot of people out there nationally that, that maybe hear the name Baylor and they're like, oh, that's just some small school in Waco, or maybe they don't even know where it even is in some cases. I mean, some people clearly on national broadcast still don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Uh, so that wouldn't be surprising if people weren't all that knowledgeable about it. But if you're thinking that like, oh, well, Louisville's a big basketball program and that's just dunk, uh, dinky little Baylor, then you, you then you're the, the exit the conversation immediately because that's not the the way it's set up right now so yeah i mean like and you're also you're responding to just random tweets so anybody can get on there and be like i heard coach k is not going to actually retire he's interested in louisville i'm sure that tweet's probably out there somewhere on some message board but it doesn't make it any truer well, that's the that's the dick saban has always loved lake yeah. travis yes he, exactly. yeah, he, yeah. he's got if he's close to lake travis you know he can recreate oh, blah 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 he loves austin texas blah 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 but but with scott and then you mentioned those those arenas okay if you list those arenas that are constantly packed when their coaches like Cameron and or when they retire they have a succession plan mm -hmm. you know John Shire's taking over Duke you know uh North Carolina Hubert Davis took over at, at North Carolina there was not a there's not a let's see what happens and the places that are packed all the time most often don't have wide open coaching searches that look when Calipari went to Kentucky and took over for Billy Gillespie then that was the, the most open that search ever got so those those arenas are very few and far between. Baylor's not the only place that has a an attendance problem. In college oh no, basketball. not even close. Yeah. No. So they're actually in the majority. Yeah. Um, and, and you know, and, and again, like you see flashes of where it's not that. Like Saturday, Saturday showed that you can. Hey, we can pack this place out. They just need to do it more consistently. That's the, the only thing. But outside of and and it's very clear that it's something Scott Drew focuses on. He talks about it all the time. Absolutely. So outside of that, name one thing that. And I'm sure there's something somewhere along the line, like the color of the jersey. You know, like I'm sure there's something. If he could tweak it, he would tweak it. But outside of just having that place packed night in and night out, sold out, what else is there? Nothing. And, and, Nothing. But that is something that it would be nice to know right. it's always that way. And that doesn't and, happen overnight, even after a national championship. And, you would hope it would. And to be fair, there are plenty of Louisville fans who saw that report as well or saw that tweet and are like, Okay, no, let's be realistic. He's not coming here. So there's there's plenty of, you know, it's not like a, there's massive Louisville fans that are, you know, predicting Scott Drew's coming there or anything like that. But, yeah, that was of interest when I saw that. But it just it immediately just made very little sense. Yeah, Scott Drew ain't going anywhere. Book it, Daniel. The Mike game, Scott Drew leaving for Louisville, I don't think would be seen as leaving for Louisville. It might be seen as leaving for the ACC. But their conference with all the Blue Bloods is not on par right now with what is the Big 12 or even the SEC. Bob Williams, I, I uh, oh, he's talking about uh, something else. Uh, Brian, uh, the title of the article was clickbait, but the article never stated he would actually listen. You hear that, he would listen or is targeted or, and, and it can be written and then people, and I'm glad Alan reached out to me because I, I showed you what I said. Uh, now, uh, when we had the WNBA 